Alrighty, so we have a really cool update along with a construction update all in one today thanks to wildgravitytravels.com. Go check them out, wildgravitytravels.com online as they have HD photos of the ones we're going to show you. I zoomed in these photos to get a better look at them so they are a little bit more blurry in this video than that to the ones on his website. Definitely go check him out, wildgravitytravels.com one last time. Anyways, he happened to pop on by the plants yesterday or today, I forget which one, yesterday or today, um, and grab some shots. And yes, we have some dive coaster track for Wonderland on site, which is awesome. It looks like the pull out of the station and the lift hill are ready to go. Um, and we should be seeing those arrive sometime soon as well. So again, he popped on by to Claremont Steel Fabrications in Ohio and grabbed us some shots. Um, so these are the pieces that we've been waiting for um, and it makes the project that much more interesting and it's gonna get even more interesting with these pictures. So here you can see off to the right, that weird looking piece off to the right is the lift hill for our coaster. Um, there's the turn of the station, the piece closest to us. And then right off in the distance there in the back is our pre-lift section. The part where it goes from the pre-lift up to the lift um, and it looks exactly the same to Val Raven. There's going to be a comparison photo after all these photos before I go into the construction update and show you our supports. Um, so stay tuned for that. But this project is getting really confusing. It looks like a mirror image to Val Raven in every aspect the color, the pre lift angle, the turn out of the station. <laughs> The bolts, everything about it is the same. Everything is in the same location. The only difference I can notice, and correct me down below if I'm wrong, it looks like our chain dog starts a little earlier than that to Val Raven. Um, but yeah, everything about it's the same. The bolts are the same for the turn of the station. I've compared every little bit of aspect. Um, the only weird thing is our track, and this photo doesn't do it justice, when it's on a flatbed, looks really wide. It's about eight feet wide is what we're estimating it when we looked up the flatbed truck that it came on and its uh, dimensions, the it, it comes up to like 8.5 feet and uh, Val Raven's track is 6.5. So um, we don't know if there's a little bit of air there, but it, lo it looks like um, it looks like our track might be a little wider, which then brings back this whole theory. Is it going to be um, 10 across or is it going to be eight across with over the shoulder restraints and not vests? Like, what is it going to be like something? It's definitely getting interesting. So again, the turn of the station track pieces are done. We have the pre-lift there and the lift hill. A couple of the pieces are there and uh, they'll probably be ready for shipment soon. Um, so there's definitely some primed pieces of track too that they uh, look like they're probably gonna be doing soon. Those are primed, um, not yet painted. Again, our support beams might not be painted yet either, um, but it's hard to tell because they do have the um, codes on them like the other piece of track but as you can tell they don't always paint the uh, attachment pieces so that could be why too so we don't know for sure what color our support beams are fully yet but there is also some other weird track here there is some um what looks like sit down coaster hyper coaster track here so we have the lift hill for a hyper coaster and some other pieces as well forming for what looks like a hyper coaster and other track um wild gravity uh travels told me that this literally was littered with track pieces all around the building. It looks like they're uh, they're literally producing track left, right, and center, and it doesn't look like it belongs to one or two coasters. It looks like there's potentially three or four coasters from what we're seeing, which is insane. We know B&M is on high demand lately. People are ordering these coasters left, right, and center. Um, it's just getting interesting. Everyone seems to want a B&M coaster. So again, let's get back into it. So you're about to see some shots of some other weird coaster track design. So this is definitely the hyper coaster in my opinion right here. This is probably gonna be painted yellow soon. And um, cause that, that track code doesn't match ours and ours is definitely um, 10 across at all aspects of the ride, but it changes um, in height up and down. So it ranges from six bolts up and down to eight bolts up and down to 10 bolts up and down. Now this is where you can see different, so you can see some of our dive coaster track off to the left there, you can tell by the spine, and you can see some of the hyper coaster track off to the right there. Um, now all the ones in the left aren't ours either, just a couple of them, and it gets very interesting. So that's hyper coaster track there, 09 or 90 and 102. And um, none of these actually in this shot are our coaster from what I can tell. None of them have the 10 
across bolts that all of our track pieces will have. Now we're about to show you a comparison of Val Raven's lift hill pre-lift to our pre-lift, and they look identical. Um, and comment down below if you notice any differences, but it's a weird angle that ours is at. It's backwards. So if you actually look, the um, part there, the gray part of it is actually the um, the bottom of the pre-lift. So you can see the flat kind of support beam that you see in the left side there, the flat one that goes into the angled support beam that's in the ground. So that is backwards. So you gotta imagine it tilted slightly up. It looks like it's at the same kind of angle. It looks to have the same kind of parts. Everything about it <laughs> is very confusing. So you can see even the elevator attachment piece there. Um, so it's just like, is this going to be a mirror image of Val Raven? It looks exactly the same. We know this is a large dive coaster, um, no matter what it is. The marking is DMG. It probably stands for Dive Machine Giant. Um, that's probably what Val Ravens was too. Anything over 200 feet is probably marked that. Um, it probably doesn't stand for Dive Machine Giga. Um, but yeah, this is getting really interesting. I have no idea what this project's gonna look like now. We know that it's gonna be unique. As we've said in previous videos, this is probably gonna be the most unique dive coaster to come. The timing of the project is super weird. The um, fact that we have track already. I mean, I compare this to Leviathan. So in October, Leviathan's lift hill was just getting started. We're talking about like the pre-lift, um, installing the transfer track and all that. Like that was just done in October 11th. Um, I went back and looked at some of my footage online. So I'm like, why is this project getting started so soon? So here's the sport beams I was talking about. English is hard for me right now. It's so hot outside and I just got back from the park. So these are the support beams that I was talking about. Now they don't look painted yet. It's hard to tell because I am suspecting, and I know this is weird, but for some reason I'm expecting some sort of like copper or gray or black kind of support beam. And I'm gonna tell you why. This coaster goes through a forest. And they're gonna look for something, I hope it's not brown too, but they're gonna look for something neutral that'll blend in and not be like, you know, so ugly in the forest. I mean, I almost feel like the support beam should have been like a dark brown to match the tree trunks and the track should have been a different color. I'm really hoping they don't go for brown on brown. I'm really hoping that they don't do that. Um, so, I mean, I'm really hoping for some sort of like copper, maybe like a copper green or like a gray or black again maybe like you know a different color i'm not i'm really hoping that they don't do purple or like that blue color like on val raven i'm hoping for something different uh just so it blends in a little better but this is just all so exciting i mean it looks like our track is being produced at like a rapid rate it looks like they're shipping it out in groups of four and five like they produce four or five track pieces have them ready to be shipped out and i know from the construction update today that they are already done the pre-lift and now they're building this weird giant structure around the pre-lift. So as you can see, they're getting ready to pour a lot more cement in um, the pre-lift area. And there's some weird water like proof um, materials that came in, which I have no idea what could be for or if that's just normal for the coaster. But yeah, lots of weird activity going on in the pre-lift area. It's definitely larger than that to Val Raven. It's already Val Raven size with the pre-lift and now they're attaching a massive structure surrounding it. That's just one wall there, by the way. So if you look, it's like a massive rectangular or square building frame going around the pre-lift. So that's something that is different to Val Raven. And there's a lot of digging going on in the station area now. Um, from what I can tell, so this is the other end. Um, vertical construction should be starting. Again, I'm using should because we don't know anything about the coaster project as a whole. Um, this is just mere speculation. Should be starting in the next couple of weeks from what we're seeing. Um, there, there wouldn't be a purpose to ship all the track now. We know that they don't have a lot of area to store track. So my prediction is that they're gonna be shipping track in groups of four or five and they're gonna be installed and then more track will be shipped and uh, fitted into the storage area because it can't fit a lot of track in that small storage area. The other storage area has haunt buildings and all that in it, so that's full. They don't have a lot of places to store track until the fall when the parking lot's not filling up anymore. So I have a feeling that they're gonna assemble this coaster slowly not slowly, but like in groups of four and five, instead of like where you typically see all the track pieces just arriving at once, you know what I mean? Uh, that just also seems like a smarter practice as a whole. Um, 
But yeah, you see right here an overall shot. That's massive. The pre-lift is in there. It's really deep down, um, much deeper than that to Valraven. You see Valraven's exact ground level. Well, our pre-lift is actually further down. Um, anyways, comment down below what you guys think. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video. Have a good one, guys. Bye.